as, as people know, as people saw the little bit of free that the Unity CEO pulled out of his ass three days ago. I'm sure I don't really have to explain what happened, but for those who actually watch this world for the first time and live in a cave, the current CEO of Unity, who was, mind you, the ex-CEO of EA, said that starting January the 1st, every game developer must pay their game's installation fee, aka every time you install a Unity game, the developer has to pay 20 cents. That is if the game goes past a certain amount of revenue, I don't really remember the number, but technically speaking, a lot of games are in danger, and one of those games are the Cult of the Lamb, and I will be playing that game before it disappears, because even if Unity does some trickstery and says, okay, haha, it was a joke, there is a high chance that these games can disappear at any moment, so at some point I am going to play the Cult of the Lamb before next January, so that should be in mind. But essentially, what this means is that a lot of people losing faith in unity even if the people at unity are trying to save themselves be like okay we are not going to go this crazy i'm convinced that there is no way that they can actually monitor installations for the sole reason that they most likely at least are unable to monitor whether the game was installed legally or pirated like there's no way you can actually pinpoint out which was pirated and which was not in my opinion i don't think they can do that i think they are literally using the yeah trust me bro uh, I, I'm pretty sure there are better VTubers or better uh, news reporters who talk about this. I just want to talk about my thoughts on this. And my initial thought was <laughs> that now that the Unity people are doing this, there is no <laughs> way we are going to see a full and finished version of Yandere Simulator because if this is really going to happen I don't know what will happen to Yandere Dev I heard that Unity said uh, something along the lines that demo games are not gonna be a it, but who knows okay who knows and even if demo games are not going to be affected i don't think yandere dev will be able to hold up even if the game finally comes out he most likely is going to lose a lot of money on it if the game comes out and if unity doesn't do anything in the next six years because uh, we're going to have to wait another six years to see something about yandere dev yandere is free of charge and it will cost the dev the installation yes but as i said i saw that unity made a statement regarding demos and uh, whatnot and again uh, i didn't look more into it than the surface level because again it, it's very stupid and scammy but isn't the game in alpha i mean beta i mean it's hard to say on on what build the yandere simulator is in my honest opinion it's still in alpha some people say it's beta i'm nowhere near to talk about this however we can all agree that it's sort of kind of a demo because it lets people play it as a tester or just you play it and see how the game is. You don't necessarily play to test it. You're not necessarily the under the devs tester. But you get my point, right? You can download it, you can try it. I would say that that's a demo in my book. Another thing, as soon as this Unity news and rumors uh, went out, a lot of other programming languages or uh, game development tools began to advertise themselves. Hey, use us because we're so much better. Yara, yara, yara. And I'm like, this is is pure perfect marketing they are literally feeding on the backlash that unity is getting and i'm here for it uh, there are a lot of games on unity that are quite honestly not the best especially if you look at horror games i'm pretty sure uh, everybody who watches tef9 knows that tef9 played a lot of unity games that were sometimes shitty horror games those games are definitely going to be dead there are a lot of multiplayer games that are free and Obviously, if they multiplayer, there is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of installations, and that's not good for the dev. And I would like to recommend everybody who is trying to make a game, do not use Unity. Yeah, it's nice that it has a store or whatnot, but even if Unity goes back on these words and they be like, haha, it was a prank or whatever, there's a chance that they can do this anytime. And let's not talk about the fact that apparently a lot of shares were sold around this time too which is again very scammy behavior. I have no idea what's going to happen, but as I said, if anything is for sure, is that I'm going to play the Cult of the Lamb one day or another and make sure that I preserve the streams versions of it before it's gone forever. Not sure if I'm going to do an achievement run. That's 
that's, that's, that's dependable at this point. I'm not sure if there are other games that are affected that I should be worried about. Obviously, HoYoWorks games are not in this uh, category whatsoever because HoYoWorks games are already using Unity Pro. They are not the free version that is being affected right now. So if you guys know any kind of games that might disappear and you think that I would like them and I could play them, please send them to my way. Even if I'm not going to play them on stream, I will most I could play them on my free time and give you back some kind of review before again it's gone forever because why scammy f uh, ceos who only want your f money like <laughs> this guy literally said that you should pay one dollar for every time you try to reload your gun in battlefield that guy never touched the video game I have to say that I never touched the video game. Oh yeah, but he also said that uh, if you don't think about microtransactions, you are the biggest idiot. And to that, I would like to point out that we have the amazing and most beautiful game, Hi-Fi Rush, that was not advertised whatsoever, came out of nowhere, absolutely banged, slabbed, rang down the roof. It has no microtransactions. It had no parade for the game that it was announced. It came, it was good, it was enjoyable, and it left a mark. And that's how a lot of good games should work. You do not need microtransactions to have a fun experience and get a lot of money. And to these microtransactions to continue, last Friday, if you guys remember, whoever stayed, I closed uh, the stream a bit earlier because I was debating with Kion and many of the Discord members whether we should make another stream regarding microvolts recharge. To those who don't know, microvolts was a well-beloved third-person shooter in which you technically played as these little cute toys and you were shooting and you had different, like you had seven type of weapons, you had many, many types of characters you can play as, and you just had fun. And that was my childhood. I was in eighth grade when I was playing that game a lot. And to see it return, I was like really hyped. So I stayed up until 3 a.m., if I remember correctly, to see the game. Obviously, we decided to not stream it because it was like already very late and nobody had the energy. Kion passed out midway. Yes, Kion, I'm talking to you. Jesus Christ, there's a huge storm going outside. If the stream dies, thanks for coming. Basically, we stayed up, some of uh, the Discord members and I. We booted up the game. And obviously, after you go back many, many years, you realize that this game was not good. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Microvolts Recharge. I hope it's gonna be the messiah. I hope that it's going to be something that is filling my childhood nostalgia up once again. That I can feel like, oh my god, yes, I've been waiting for this and I'm so glad that it's back. It was worthy staying up for 3 a.m. for this. And uh, as soon as the game started, we had to realize, especially hours, hours later when we went back with a more rested body shape and with more people, that this game is literally pay to win. Because there are a lot of guns you can purchase that definitely have better stats. But if you're a free-to-play user, you're going to have a much harder time. Because you need to grind a lot to at least purchase one good weapon. While somebody can just basically put real-life money into it and ruin your own experience. And we made only beginner's maps. And obviously level 20, level 30, level 70 people arrive and yeah, still kills you know as i said microtransactions can ruin people's lives even if it feeds the devs wallet it it can ruin a player's life and i never booted up the game ever again i'm pretty sure i even uninstalled it it was sad to go back and realize that my childhood nostalgia could not save my current experience with this game i'm not good at shooters i'm absolutely awful and i was awful even as a child, but for some reason, the grinding for weaponry was much easier, even if it was temporary buys, and after seven days my weapons were gone, it was easier to at least have seven days of good run, and then you just start the grind again. It meant something then, but right now it, it just doesn't. Uh, yeah, you also uninstalled the game few, and that's good to know. Also, hello few, welcome to the channel. As I said, if you think you have any good game recommendations that this is very important, you think I would like, 
and you are sure that the game is going to be deleted on January the 1st, I don't care if the game is safe. I'm only talking about game having a high chance of not being playable after Unity makes these announcements. Please send them to me. I would love to play some of those. There's a chance that I'm not going to play them on stream, but I will definitely try if I find interest in them and I'm going to give you back some kind of review or my thoughts if you want to.